Joining us now is uh, yet another very eminent academician and faculty uh, from the Department of Foreign Languages for uh, Tejpur University. She is the head of the department, Dr. Hemjoti Medhi. Thank you, ma'am, for accepting our invitation in such a short span of time. So, uh, we'd like to start uh, with a little about the course. If you could introduce the course a little and the department yes. and everything that it so, offers. Uh, Foreign language department was part of the English and foreign language department for a very long time and then it became an independent department only recently, two, three mm -hmm. years back. And uh, there are two kinds of courses that we run here. One set of courses are run for st uh, students who are already Tejpur University students. Suppose okay. there are students who are now in, just for example, in four-year undergraduate program in English. Mm -hmm. So they can take uh, who, what we call skill enhancement course in German or skill enhancement course in Chinese or basic uh, German, basic French, basic Chinese. So those sets of uh, courses are run for students who are already Tejpur University students in a different department. So suppose you are doing MA, MSc or MTech, any other PG course. Similarly, what we call is open elective. So open elective courses in German, French, Chinese, those are for what we call our internal uh, students and they are enrolled in a different program in Tejpur University, say MA in Mass Communication, MSc in Maths, but they can do a German course, French course, whatever, and these are slotted accordingly. Now from 2024 July, mm -hmm. uh, we are starting with our independent course, which is a four-year undergraduate program in Chinese. Okay. And this is according to the new education policy 2020, yes. where as you all know, there's a lot of emphasis on foreign language. And the beauty of this course is because many of our students, when they learn basic Chinese, basic German, they say that we want to do more. But very often they don't have that entire three year time to test if they would like to pursue Chinese or pursue right. German, right? Now the beauty of NEP is that you may do two semesters, mm -hmm. that is suppose you enroll and the basic criteria eligibility would be 10 plus 2 mm -hmm. and an entrance exam which would be the CUET for okay. 2024, the okay. Central University Entrance Examination. So anybody, any stream, mm -hmm. we are not saying humanities, mm -hmm. commerce, science, any stream, 10 plus 2, basic marks would be there, maybe 50 or whatever percent. And uh, the test would also be not test in German or Chinese, it would be basic test in say, general English, okay. proficiency, uh, you know, reasoning, mm -hmm. things like that, very general kind of an mm -hmm. entrance because how do you test exactly. someone for Chinese, right? So the beauty is that suppose they feel that they do two semesters, you know, they have entered a BA program, it's a BA program proper, they do two semesters and they feel that I'm not really comfortable or I'm happy with whatever I have learned. Mm -hmm. It could be either way. Mm -hmm. This is enough for me. Mm -hmm. They will get a certificate. Yes, and they can leave. They can leave. Course. And then if they stay for two years, that mm -hmm. is four semesters, mm -hmm. then they'll get a diploma and then they can leave. Okay. And if they do it for three years, they will get a degree mm -hmm. and they can leave. And then if they score a certain amount, there are criteria. Yes. They could go for the fourth year, mm -hmm. either with honors mm -hmm. or with research. And then they can have a four year undergraduate four year degree, degree yeah. with honors or with research. Mm -hmm. So. We are hoping that our students in Northeast, because uh, the challenge is that now increasingly parents are a little wary of sending children, 10 plus 2 ch children, like mm -hmm. you know, 17, 18 years, to metropolises because of many security issues. Right. You know, like I have friends who are wary of sending kids to say Delhi because yes, of incidents that yeah. happened mm -hmm. there. And, uh, but that doesn't mean that therefore our students should never be able to learn, mm -hmm. you know, foreign languages. So. I'm hoping that this will be a wonderful opportunity for uh, students in Northeast in India North East, right. because as far as my information goes, mm. we are the first university to start a four-year undergraduate yes. program in Chinese, mm. uh, if not in the whole country, but definitely in Northeast. North yes. I think it's also the first university to s this start this entire discourse on foreign languages in you know somewhere or the other yes Gauhati university, uh -huh. university also has foreign yes. languages so does Eflu, mm -hmm. Shillong, uh, Manipur University for instance has Chinese so there uh, we yes. are all doing yeah. but uh, you're right you know in fact you know maybe we, we mm -hmm. should also have some kind of a collaboration among yes. ourselves different mm -hmm. departments 
in the Northeast who are doing foreign languages mm -hmm. and what kind of resource sharing you know we could right, uh, yeah. do uh, among ourselves mm -hmm. uh, in order to garner that kind of enthusiasm for foreign language. Yes, uh, and know, what among, all can be addressed. Yes. Exactly, among our <clears throat> students. And like my colleagues have made, uh, mentioned, that higher education is of course always an option, but not everybody is interested in higher education. And uh, so you might look at it from a skill perspective, mm -hmm. like, in fact, the NEP has made it very clear that skill is more important rather than just, you know, uh, of course there is debate about that and one may agree or disagree, but what one needs to acknowledge is that there is an emphasis on foreign language and uh, students from our region should not lag behind as we have in the past. You know, in the past, what we felt is that whatever was already available in the metropolis mm -hmm. came to Guwahati, to Shillong, mm -hmm. you know, pretty late. Uh, we are trying at Ejpur University, we are trying our best that that lagging behind should not happen for yes. our students. And parents who are not comfortable sending children to the metropolis can send because uh, apart from the, you know, Chinese program, because I'm sure my colleagues have mentioned that we have been having customized scores for Indian yes. Army and ITBP mm -hmm. for so long now, you know, many, many years, and those have been so successful and high demand, mm -hmm. year after year they come back. So I think those resources should also be used by our, you know, students. No, I mean, of course by the Army and ITBP, mm -hmm. but also by our students. Mm -hmm. And the other aspect that we need to kind of uh, take into account while talking about foreign language is that, because nowadays, you know, you can learn foreign language on YouTube, yes. you can learn it from an app, you can learn it from, you know, there are so many so avenues. Many, yes. So somebody might ask, why should I come to Tejpur mm -hmm. University? I can download an app and I can mm -hmm. learn Chinese. And, you know, the kind of atmosphere that a university offers and ours being one of the best uh, in Northeast and one of the good rankings all over India, uh, the kind of uh, campus environment that we offer, I think that itself would be an incentive for someone and also the one-to-one -one connection with teacher because when a teacher communicates with you one-to-one, -one, it's very different from it's learning on uh, YouTube and you know from... Like ma'am said and other, uh, Sarah also mm -hmm. mentioned about mm -hmm. how the process goes, it's so beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. and also <laughs> as a very vibrant campus, so mm -hmm. it's not just about you are doing FYUP Chinese, it's yes. not just you know one is doing Chinese or German. You are also like, but make, let me make it very clear, you are starting with FYP only in Chinese. Oh, yes. German and French will come later, later because we also need faculty yeah. members and so on and so forth. As you can see, we have, you know, um, mm -hmm. we are not really well staffed. So uh, the beauty of the campus in terms of its vibrancy, in terms of the kind of uh, avenues that it offers, you know, Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and uh, cleanliness and hostel facility, all of that combined and the fact that, I mean, uh, just... Uh, for this interview, we were talking about there's a Nitangana mm -hmm. dance club, and so mm -hmm. we're saying, Will that be? because they yes, practice I dance, know. you know? Yeah. So we're finding out, but then we realized that you know, the cultural officer is gone somewhere, mm -hmm. taking students because there are female students also gone, okay. you know, to play uh, badminton mm -hmm. or you know, something like So, the university, what I can very strongly say because I've taught here for so many years is that we are not just about academics, you know, if one is good in sports, mm -hmm. good in cultural activities, and we have sports quota admission as well. So if one is good in all those other aspects in life, that you can hone and cultivate those talents as well. Absolutely. So, you know, it's a holistic development of the yes, yes. Well that the university yes. campus offers. Yes. And of course, foreign language, I'm sure my colleagues have talked about that uh, opportunities are immense now with mm -hmm. a globalized uh, world. And though our, you know, it's an open secret that our bilateral relation with China is not excellent. However, Indian co companies are doing business in China, right? It's, we, our bilateral businesses are still growing. Still growing. Yeah. Yes. Politically, mm -hmm. there might be differences, mm -hmm. but business. But the market is ever expanding. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's ever expanding. So uh, people would be required there. You know, so if our students from Northeast uh, go and mm -hmm. explore those. Uh, so in the FIUP, we are in fact uh, thinking of, I think my colleagues mentioned about the HSK level yes, 4, yes. that, you know, then they will be qualified to take up corporate and jobs. That is a very, very wonderful step. Yes, that, that yeah. you know, we, we don't want to be just another BA in China, right. but we want to have our USP mm -hmm. saying that those students who pass at least the third year, mm -hmm. not maybe the first or the second year, but those who complete third year should be able to clear HSK 
you know, four, yeah. so that they achieve a certain level mm-hmm. of proficiency in the language and they are, you know... And it will also yeah. give them a career. Yes, push. yes, definitely. And of course, uh, for literature, for learning, mm-hmm. for enjoyment, that is always there. Yes. I mean, that people do it for their own pleasure, mm-hmm. you're most welcome. But also, because after all, we live in a real world and jobs yeah. are important, it's so... Important, yeah. Yes. Okay. So that is how, so ma'am from next year when this course will be coming, so that will be through CUET, but right Mm -hmm. now, Mm -hmm. uh, after that since uh, French and uh, German, Mm -hmm. that is coming later on. So for that, how do the students apply? That decision is yet to be taken, but most probably that will also be CUET because, you know, that's what... Oh yes, because Uh, everything comes under that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think by February or so, Mm -hmm. whoever is interested, if they start looking up our website, okay. you know, these uh, prospectors would mm-hmm. be up uh, by January, February. Mm-hmm. So if they start looking up the website, they will see TSU admission yeah. and, you know, they mm-hmm. can go there. And the FYP Chinese would mm-hmm. be up there. And the detailed guidelines, mm-hmm. of course, initially we are starting small. Mm-hmm. It will be a batch of 20. So what it means is that it will be tough to get through. but. If you get through because you are just a class of 20, mm-hmm. then you also get a very good, uh, you know, yes, kind of attention, attention from the teachers. Yeah. yeah. So unlike other yes. programs, like I teach in English, mm-hmm. we have 80 students, yeah. so it's a huge group. It's very good. But if you have just 20 students, so you can imagine the kind of close attention mm-hmm. that they will get. And uh, of course, it will be competitive that we cannot yeah, help yes. the central university. It will be merit based. Merit based. And right. Yes. Yeah. Of, with all the government. Uh, mm-hmm. Or reservation policies mm-hmm. intact. intact. We'll follow. Yeah, we'll okay. follow all the government rules uh, regarding reservations. Reservations. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So I think that we can be. We are very positive about uh, uh, the Department of Foreign Languages and the prospects that it is offering. And now what Teach Pre University is doing. I think that is a major boost yes. for our uh, enthusiasts now who are looking up for foreign languages. So I think that uh, is it, ma'am. Okay. Right? In fact, so I'd like to thank, if you want to add yeah, anything, thank yeah. Netfi, that it's just a, such an opportune moment that when you contacted us, and just the same day we were meeting, that day the academic <laughs> council yes, passed the right. FYP, right? So though we have been in touch from before, so this is so like the perfect timing. Perfect yeah. timing, yes. So I would also kind of use your platform to kind of, you know advertise the four-year undergraduate program in Chinese at Tejpur University. Please do apply and there will be a link to the department that the website will have. So please contact us if you have any doubt, any clarification. And by January, February, more details will be available when yes. the prospectus is out. Sure, sure. Of. And we'll keep, you know, collaborating sure. in the near sure. future. Maybe yeah, if, could, if people contact you yes, and yes. they need information, mm-hmm. they cannot get through to us, you forward it to us yes. by mail sure, sure. or phone, whatever. We can. And we'll continue. We can. Yeah. So we'll I'm, I'm hoping that this collaboration will continue would rather continue, than just... Yes, yes. yes. Huh. And we'll have some, you know, fruitful yes. results. And out you let us know in future mm-hmm. if we can do something sure, else, sure, you know. No, because today our French faculty, Mm-hmm. Have to suddenly go on leave. Somebody died mm-hmm. in his, uh, yes. you know, family. So in future, maybe by January, February, by next semester. Yeah. I mean, because we always think mm-hmm. of in semesters mm-hmm. rather than years. So if we have, we are also thinking of expanding to other foreign languages. Yes. So if we have more, then maybe we, have, we can have more meetings and sure, then sure, you know, absolutely. they can give their. Sure, sure. of other ways, you know. Yes. To yes. work together. Yes. Huh. Basically, the use of northeast and the students sure. should be. Benefited, yes. yeah. Yes. That is that our primary, is the primary goal. Yes, yes absolutely. True. So, true. thank you, thank you for your time, man. Thank it you was for wonderful.